All right, for this lab section, I'm going to show two different isotopes or compounds of two different isotopes of an element um, and how their densities differ. And I'm also going to um, show different oxidation states of the same element, actually show the oxidation state changing. All right, so for this uh, lab, I'm going to be, uh, for, for isotopes, demonstrating different isotopes, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating the different densities of no, uh, water, normal water, which is H2O, two hydrogens and an oxygen, or you can say H2O like that, that's another way. Um, and I'm also going to be showing uh, heavy water, and heavy water can be written as uh, H2O like this, or it can be written as D2O, and the D stands for deuterium. And deuterium um, is hydrogen, except normal hydrogen has, here I'll, see, I'll show, normal hydrogen um, has a proton in the nucleus and an electron. And deuterium has a proton in the nucleus, and it also has a neutron in the nucleus, and of course it has an electron. So deuterium is twice as heavy as normal hydrogen, and because of that, um, the uh, heavy water made with deuterium is about 10% or 11% heavier than normal water made with, with, made with hydrogen. Um, so I'm going to be showing that an ice cube made with uh, deuterium water will actually sink when put in normal water. All right, here's a normal ice cube in water. It obviously floats. I don't know if you can can really see it that well, but there you go. It floats. And here is a heavy ice cube. A heavy water ice cube. Notice that it settles right at the bottom of the glass. For my demonstration of oxidation states, um, I'm going to be starting with a solution of vanadium 2 plus, meaning that it is vanadium that has lost two electrons, or has two electrons fewer than the number uh, that would make it neutral. Uh, and I'm going to be adding to that solution an oxidizer. Now an oxidizer is anything that rips electrons away from other stuff. So it's going to start ripping electrons away from this vanadium 2 plus, um, quickly oxidizing it to vanadium 3 plus, then vanadium 4 plus, then vanadium 5 plus. Now, the reason I've d done this in different colors is because these are actually the colors, the approximate colors of the solutions. So you'll see the solution go from purple, then very quickly to green and blue, almost sipping them, and then go um, all the way to like an orangey yellow. I'll slow down the footage for you so you'll be able to see all the different stages.